So we are still at KLGCC. I'm still with Travis, who's trying very hard to teach me how to golf. Something works, something doesn't. But uh, it needs work as usual. And uh, we are going to learn putting this time. So, again, putting, it's, uh, a lot of it has got to do with, with the feel, right? It's, uh, it's not too technical, it's not a mechanical movement. It's more about how you feel, sort of trying to judge the distance um, and so on. There's two parts of putting that you actually need to get right. You need to be able to get your direction and you also need to be able to judge your speed correctly. Now out of those two, direction is actually quite easy. It's not too difficult to aim your putter and to get the ball rolling in the direction you want. But the difficult part actually comes when you need to start judging distance. Uh, you will find that sometimes you hit it too hard, then you hit it too soft, then you hit it too hard, too soft, um, and you end up two putting or three putting, or sometimes even it takes you four putts to get in the hole. Right. If your speed is good and you've got a good feel for the speed, then you can minimize your putting to about maybe two putts. Right. Okay. So this is a nice little exercise I've got set out here. It's a three foot putt. A three foot putt is a magical distance for you to practice. If you make a good putt, the ball goes in. If you make a bad putt, the ball misses. The way that we're going to putt, and when you're starting golf, this is the way you should do it. The putter must lie flat on the ground, so you can see that the putter needs to lie at an angle. You cannot have the putter toe up, and you also cannot have the putter heel up. The putter lies flat. Your eyes are looking straight down over the ball. So a good thing to do is if I get ready for this putt, and I drop a ball from my left eye, it should land somewhere by the, by the ball. Okay. Once you've got that, your feet are a comfortable distance apart, the ball can be centered, okay, not too necessary to be too specific with that. And uh, when you make your backstroke, you, no wrist movement in the backstroke, no wrist movement in the follow through. So this angle, the angle of your wrists, they maintain themselves. You don't, you don't flick or do anything with the wrist. The movement actually comes from the arms and the shoulders. So if you look at this, my wrists are pretty quiet, but my arms and shoulders are moving. And that's about it. Okay, so, sounds easy, it is easy. Hey, ta-da! Alright, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to double check your putter. That's good. So putter's aiming in the hole. Bring your feet a bit more this way. Okay. Yes. Okay, that actually, actually looks very nice. Can you move your eyes a bit more over the ball so you lean a bit forward? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. And uh, that concludes my golf lesson. I guess I need some more lessons. I'd like to say thank you to Travis from KLGCC. Don't forget to catch the LPGA from the 10th to the 13th of October happening right here at KLGCC. Mm -hmm.